Hello and welcome back to IT Performance. You're with Dave today, same as every other day. And today we are having an unboxing uh, and setup of Logitech's entry level gaming keyboard. It has RGB, but it doesn't have mechanical keys, it has mechanical feel keys and it has five lighting zones as opposed to individual key lighting. So let's unbox it, have a look and plug it in, see how it feels and uh, see how, how it looks when it's set up. Couple of tabs on the back. Okay, so it comes with a two meter cable or six foot cable. Grr. Let's get into it. Oh, braided, braided cable. That's nice. It's a USB two. Okay. So it comes with the the media keys up the top here. Volume plus minus volume mute and start uh, plays pause stop forward and back a gaming mode button and an led brightness button i assume it's led is there anything else in here nope just some bits and pieces about how to plug it in and where to go for support. It's not a bad looking keyboard. It's, um, as I said, it's the entry level. It's uh, definitely the cheapest. So this was uh, $110 New Zealand uh, on the shelf, although the Logitech website lists it for $130. $129.95 uh, doesn't have a bad feel to it the um, font is can be interesting like some of these font keys have got an interesting font on them but that that's about it it's pretty sparse but it's keyboard it doesn't need anything flash so let's Plug it in and see how it goes. Oh. Okay, so let's plug this thing in. So it just cycles through its default color settings. Windows 10 sets it up. Let's have a look. So four times faster than standard keyboards. Light sync, RGB, onboard media controls. Some lovely pictures there. Gaming grade performance. Mm -hmm. Spill resistant and durable. Yes, because we always throw water at our keyboards. Palm rest. Now the palm rest is just solid plastic. It's not rubberized or anything like that. So, you get what you pay for, I suppose. The keys themselves. All the Logitech keyboards I've had have been, none of them have actually had mechanical keys. Um, two of them have had the LCD display panels on them, where you can play videos on the keyboard, view the videos on the keyboard. 
but um, yeah, they've sort of gone the way of the dodo with good reason. I mean, who wants to watch something on uh, what is it? 320 by 240. Okay, so it has adjustable feet. And we'll have a look at the software, see what sort of zoning and stuff it can set up. Package contents, keyboard and user documentation. Windows 7 or later, USB, USB 2, uh, and 5 zone RGB. Spill resistance, two year warranty. All right. Faster. Look at that. Woo. It's like a disco. So you can sync your mouse and your keyboard if you really want to. Okay. Fix color. So you can just go, just do red. Color. Red. Okay. So you actually need to click on the color that you want and then click over in the side here instead of just clicking in it changing so that's red I suppose it's red green purple there's no lighting around the sides which I can't say I'm too disappointed at Lighting mode. Freestyle. Group keys together with color zones. So you can make those ones red. Those ones yellow. Okay, so click the color first, then click the zone. And pink. Oh. Yellow. Interesting how they just pick. Ah, the light just off and on. Not various brightnesses, just off and on. Okay, so if we have a look here. Doesn't really show it too well on here, but there is a bit of color bleeding on the F4 and 5 key and down on the greater than key. So where it shows the bands there is a bit of a crossover but hey again what can you expect This is the same software that's used to power the headphones and the mouse. Lighting mode. Freestyle. Effects. Fix color. Color wave. Yeah. Send it out. Color cycle, that's the default. Breathing effect. And of course, fixed color. 
freestyle mode has got these sliders on it. So that's not doing anything except. So that's basically off. That's on. So that's color saturation and that seems to be brightness. How much of that yellow is in there and then the brightness? No, well, that's okay, I suppose. Okay, so as for actually typing on the thing, uh, quick round fox jumps over the lazy dog because it can, and the dog will not catch. The typing is not bad. It has a definite, um, you definitely have to push it and it has a bit of a kickback to it. Um, and there's definitely, there's definitely the pressure between, behind the, behind the push. It's not, it's not bad. I, I'm sure people would far prefer it. Um, my Corsair um, K70 doesn't have any real uh, resistance when you're pushing the key, for example, and um, let's see, you can quite easily rest your, your fingers on these keys and you definitely know, can feel the key give before the, uh, it's activated. And some people prefer that. It's not. It's not. It's far better than a lot of the other um, non-mechanical keyboards that I, I've used, especially like the ones that come with OEM machines like HP uh, and Lenovo. Nice solid feel to it. So up the top here. We have the numlock key, caps lock, and scroll lock, and then game mode. And game mode basically disables the Windows key. Yeah. Not a flash keyboard, but definitely uh, I would say a solid performer. I'm sure my son will like it. <laughs> okay, cheers. Thanks for watching. If you uh, like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you, you haven't already, please subscribe. Cheers. Bye. The team. So it's picked up my mouse. No, it hasn't. That's not my mouse. That's definitely not my mouse. Speaking of that, what mouse? No, see that—that's the correct mouse. All right, let's go back to the keyboard.